Traveling is living your comfort zone and discovering the courage deep within. Join me as I drive from Antique to Cebu. It's 10.21 in the evening and I feel like uh, I'm not in my best mental and physical faculty to drive. So I've decided to stop here and I'm at Mom Busao. So that's this church right there. So First stop here, is at Domangas Port. From Antique going to Domangas, it will take you around 4 to 5 hours depending on your speed. So first stop, of course, you have to settle the thing with the Coast Guard. You have to, for the clearance, you need to present your driver's license and of course your ORCR. Then proceed to pay the terminal fee of 100 pesos. And now ready to board the Roro. Every hour may nagapanaw. So 1,170 fare from Dumangas or Iloilo to Bacalod. So these are the facility. It's clean. There are some food available. And there are actually, the passenger area is spacious. It's air-conditioned and it's quite clean. But then, I rather f sleep in the car because I feel more secure sleeping in a closed space. So that's it. This is my first night traveling. Good night. And I arrive at Makola at 5 o'clock in the morning. It was an easy a transfer actually a smooth ride smooth sailing anyway from Bacolod uh, let's fuel or let's fuel our tank and it's only 55 pesos here in Bacolod so from Bacolod to the Maguete four hours it will be an easy again ride four lanes halos and the road are so smooth fuel economy is better then at Kabangkalan, I stopped by for a toilet break and then, of course, the first cup of coffee to wake me up for yet again another round of driving. Overall, the view is scenic. So proceeded to the Maguete but I felt sleepy so I parked on the side of the road and I slept for like two hours. So I parked safely inside the plaza actually with shade and my solar fan on to save fuel kuripot lang no anyway economical char the road is similar to antique to iliilo it's uphill and curvy actually so i'm stopping every now and then in every scenic view so ah nabusogid ang akin nga mata and learning along the way i'm amazed by this solar farm so this is before so uh, baiz city so this is uh, so amazing. I love this. I love in renewable energy. So took, I, I took my brunch. That's my first meal for the day. So I saw the sign going to Cebu at Tampe. So I stopped by here. Uh, I decided that instead of Cebu Lan, I will ride, ride here. <laughs> so I decided to go with my gut. So basically, and I this is again Cibulan, second trip. I saw a signage that there is also here in Tampi going to Cebu, going to Bato Cebu, not Bato de la Rosa, eh? corny char. Anyway, uh, I paid the 30 pesos for the terminal and uh, 1060, uh, 1060 for uh, the Roro. So let's go. So basically, the purpose of this travel is for uh, my Australian visa application. So this is actually the facility of the Maayo shipping here. It's also third story, it's convenient, and it's scenic drive or a scenic or a smooth sailing. I'm lost for words. So travel time again is only 30 minutes and it is an enjoyable 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, I arrived here at Cebu. Then I paid again another 30 pesos for the terminal fee. And finally, Cebu. All in all, this is cheaper than the plane. So I passed by Dolomite area, being quarried. And also, the convenience of having your car, you can stop in any place you want if you see something interesting. And after three hours, I arrive here at Cebu second night I stayed here at Hop Inn it's a budget but right in the center of the city or business center so visa approved just